five on wing face, so let's go for that one. Um, yes, good, uh, good result, um, good performance. I think um, the boys are, are starting little by little to, to look better every game. We're, uh, we're in a clear ascending curve, and we just have to make sure that now um, we make this, this last three performances and results count in the next game when we have to go to, to a very tough uh, place to play and, uh, and a very good opponent that's going to be RGV now. How important was it to get that first goal within two minutes? No, it was very important. It was very important. It was one of the focuses, if we can say that, before the game. Just making sure that the guys were, were you know I mean, they, they were intense. They were motivated. They were, they were ready to come off the locker room, you know what I mean, to, to do whatever it takes to get a result. So if you, you see that a minute and a half, two minutes, three minutes into the game, and you're like, okay, the boys are ready to play tonight. I do think that um, at times we, we took the foot off the pedal. And, uh, and it's understandable. I, uh, I've played, I sat in that locker room before, and I know how it is when, when you're dominating a game and when you're going. Sometimes you try to take care of yourself, knowing what you have ahead. And this and when we, we have two, two, two big games, two, two very big games, and I know the boys were, at times, they were taking care of themselves. But um, listen, good result, good performance in front of our fans. Like I told you last game, I'm happy for the players, I'm happy for their families. And I'm happy for, all, for our supporters because I think they deserved it. Following up a good performance in midweek with a goal today, do you think Gabby Torres has made his uh, case to stay here next year? Well, we, like I said, right, we, we'll see what happens at the end of the year. We're still assessing, we're still evaluating um, absolutely everything we do. And it's what I told you. It's, we're, I can guarantee you that we're not going to bring someone in that doesn't fit our game model or style of play and checks the box of character. And Gabby is a guy that checks all those boxes, so we're happy to have him. Um, I think the team is, is very, very happy to have him as well, and he's adapted very well to what we wanted. We see JJ Williams getting two assists off the bench. Just what was the role you were looking for him to play when he came off the bench? He could have shot those two, and then he decided to, to split, to split a, a pass and, and make sure that his teammates could score. Him being a, a number nine, and, and you know, nines live out of goals, right? And he's also, yeah, I mean, they're, they're fighting for positions because that's what we want. We want competition in that locker room. He could have easily taken a shot and he didn't. He split a pass and he passed it. So that's why I told him I'm, I'm very happy for him. I'm very proud of him. And it also reflects the culture and the character that we want to keep building in the team. And Joey Kalishvi coming off the bench. Yeah. It's his 100th appearance for the club. Just how important is he to this team? Joey Kalishvi is, I mean, I love him. And uh, he, knows, he knows how I feel about him, uh, the club. The, the, the organization also knows how important Joey is, not, not just for us in the locker room, but also outside of the locker room, what Joey represents for this community. So I'm very, very happy that he's reached um, 100, uh, 100 games, and it was tonight in front of a very good crowd, and we were able to put in a good performance that, that led to a good result. The first time since April this team strung two wins together, so just how important is that going into a tough game like RGV next weekend? Um, it's important, confidence levels are up, and um, what's more important to me is uh, it's, it's a performance. It's making sure that I told you we're in a clear ascending curve right now, and what I see on the field, the way the goals came, even the penalty, it's exactly how we want to play. Uh, tactically, the boys stay disciplined, even though at times we of the circumstance, circumstances of the game, the game opened up a bit, so they were a bit disorganized tactically at times, but for most of the game, tactically, they, they did what we asked, and the boys are now being able to execute in the way that we want them to execute, and not just execute because you have um, good soccer players or good individuals that can come out and make something happen. No, 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 we want to make sure that we have good soccer players as individuals, but then collectively, we all have one idea and we can execute within that idea. And that's what's important to me. And then given the nature of the opposition today, of course, they had multiple 15-year-olds out there. Yeah. Does that put a limitation on how much you can really read into the performance today? No, because my motivation is not who am I playing against or who's the team that stands in front of us. Us as Phoenix Rising, as an organization, as a team, as, as myself as a coach and them as, as players, we need to make sure that we can come out every, every week and, and we show excellence and we demand excellence out of the players. So our motivation is not who we're playing against. Just because it was Rebels tonight, we, we were not going to step on the field thinking anything differently than how it was next week or how it's going to be RGV. That's when a big organization demands that of you, is that every single week you have to make sure that you come up and you have to be at your best. And for us, at the end of the day, it's not who's in front of us, it's, it's the organization that we represent that is Phoenix Rising.